Hello children. Today we will learn from Tree to Territory Part 2. In this session, we will learn about four Mysore War, three Maratha Wars and British administration in India. Four Anglo-Mysore Wars were fought. First War 1767 to 1769. Second War 1780 to 1784. Third War 1789 to 1792. And the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War 1799. The state of Mysore rose to prominence in the politics of South India under the leadership of Hyder Ali and his son Tipu Sultan. Both of them faced the English with courage. Hyder Ali's growing power and his friendly relation with the French became a matter of concern for the English East India Company. Hence, the first Anglo-Mysore war started in 1767 and ended in 1769. Nizam, the Marathas and the British formed a triple alliance against Hyder Ali. The Nizam, with the help of British troops under General Joseph Smith, invaded Mysore. Hyder Ali defeated English captured Mangalore. In March 1769, he attacked Madras and forced English to sign a treaty on 4th April 1769. Treaty of Madras was signed and in this treaty both the parties returned the conquered territories promised to help each other in case of trouble. The English did not fulfill the terms of the Treaty of 1769 when Hyder's territories were attacked so the Second Anglo-Mysore War started. In 1781, the British General Sir Ayak Kut defeated Hyder Ali at Porto Novo. The Mysore forces suffered another defeat at Sholingur. Hyder Ali died of cancer and after his death, Tipu Sultan, his son, continued the war against the English. Tipu captured Brigadier Matthews, the supreme commander of the British forces, with his soldiers in 1783. It was a serious loss for Tipu. Treaty of Mangalore, 1784 on 7 March 1784, the Treaty of Mangalore was signed between the two parties. Both agreed to return the conquered territories and also the prisoners of war. The Third Anglo-Mysore War Tipu was trying to seek alliance of foreign powers like France and Turkey. Tipu attacked Travancore in 1789, an ally of the British. The English, the Nizam and the Marathas entered into a triple alliance against Mysore. Tipu fought alone which continued for two years. It was fought in three phases. The attack of the English under General Meadows failed. Therefore, in December 1790, Cornwallis himself took the command of the army. Tipu felt desperate and opened negotiations with the English. Cornwallis agreed and the Treaty of Sri Rangapatnam was concluded in 1792. Treaty of Sri Rangapatnam, 1792. Tipu surrendered half of his kingdom to the Allies and agreed to pay 3.6 crore of rupees to the English. The English acquired Malabar, Kur, Dindikal and Baramahal, Coimbatore and Salem. The Fourth Anglo-Mysore War Tipu Sultan did not forget the humiliating Treaty of Sri Rangapatnam imposed upon him by Cornwallis in 1790. So the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War started. Wellesley declared war against Tipu in 1799. As planned, the Bombay army under General Stuart invaded Mysore from the west. The Madras army, led by Arthur Wellesley, forced Tipu to retreat to his capital Sri Rangapatnam. On 4th May 1799, Sri Rangapatnam was captured. Tipu fought bravely but was killed finally. Thus ended the 4th Mysore War. Mysore after the war The English occupied Kanara, Vayanad, Coimbatore, Dharapuram and Sri Rangapatnam. Krishna Raja Udayar of the former Hindu royal family was brought to the throne. 
Tipu's family was sent to the fort of Velur. Anglo-Maratha Wars First Anglo-Maratha War 1775 to 1782 Second Anglo-Maratha War 1803 to 1805 Third Anglo-Maratha War 1817 to 1818 There were five independent states of Marathas Peshwa at Pune Gekwats at Baroda Bonsley at Nagpur Holkers at Indo and Sindhyas at Gwalior The Peshwa's government was weakened by internal rivalries and other four leaders were often hostile to each other The internal conflict among the Marathas was utilized by the British After the death of Narayan Rao Raghunath Rao became the Peshwa but his authority was challenged by Nana Fadnavis having failed in his bid to capture Par Raghunath Rao approached the British for help. The Treaty of Surat between English and Raghunath Rao was concluded in 1775. The council sent Colonel Uttan to Pune. Accordingly, Treaty of Purandar in 1776 was signed. In 1781, Warren Hastings under Captain Poham de- defeated the Maratha chief Mahadaji Sindhya. Later, 17th May 1782 the treaty of salby was signed results of first anglo maratha war raghunath rao was pensioned off and madhavrao second was accepted as peshwa salset was given to the british the treaty of salby provided the british 20 years of peace with the marathas internal affairs of the marathas Nana Fadnavis grew fond of Par and jealous of Mahadaji Sindhya and when Mahadaji Sindhya died Nana Fadnavis became supreme at Pune The young Peshwa Madhavrao II tried to improve the affairs but could not check it and after his death Baji Rao II became the Peshwa there The death of Nana Fadnavis in 1800 gave the British an added advantage The Peshwa and Sindhya agreed to help each other. Holkar marched against the Peshwa. The combined forces were utterly defeated. Baji Rao II approached Lord Wellesley for help. Lord Wellesley welcomed the Peshwa and made him sign the Treaty of Bessin in other words the Treaty of Subsidiary Alliance. As an immediate to the Treaty of Bessin, the British troops marched under the command of Arthur Wellesley towards Pune and restored the Peshwa to his position. The forces of Holkar vanished from the Maratha capital. The Second Anglo-Maratha War After accepting the subsidiary alliance by the Peshwa, Daulat Rao Sindhya and Rahoji Bansley attempted to save Marathas. But the well-prepared organized army of the English under Arthur Wellesley defeated the combined armies of Sindhya and Bonsley and English forced them to conclude separate subsidiary treaties namely Treaty of Diogan and the Treaty of Suji Arjugan. Jashwant Rao Holkar tried to form a coalition of Indian rulers to fight against British but the English defeated the Marathas. The Maratha power weakened and English East India Company started becoming the paramount power in India. The third Anglo-Maratha war began with an invasion of the Maratha territory by the troops led by Governor General Hastings and he under General Thomas Hislop. The Peshwa Baji Rao II's forces followed by those of Mudoji II, Bonsley of Nagpur and Malha Rao Holkar III of Indore rose against the British. Daulat Rao of Sindhya remained neutral. The Peshwa was defeated in the battles of Katki and Kargan and Bonsley was defeated in the battle of Sitbaldi and Holkar in the battle of Mahitpur. The Maratha Confederacy was dissolved. and most of the territory of Peshwa Bajira was annexed became part of Bombay presidency the defeat of Bonsley and Holkar resulted in the Maratha kingdoms to the british the Bajira second and last peshwa of Maratha was given an annual pension of 8 lakh rupees and with this we conclude part 2 children 
Revise well and continue watching part 3. Thank you students.